lost my best friend to 23 She left her body and hovered above me डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फीचर राइट so what is exp let me just show you very in a very simple way right let's forget about this new feature let's uh, just uh, see what exp means so for example uh, right let's say if i go to synthesize and uh, i look for the temari ultimate which i just unlocked one second yeah right so if i click on this one now if you see it says here that this is currently level 1 now in order to make it level 2 i need 2500 exp which you see here now if i click on the green one how much exp it gives it was 2500 if i click on one it gives me 90 exp and so on so on it keeps giving me so a green frog gives 90 exp a blue frog gives uh, around 180 exp orange frog gives how much was it 360 exp and so on right similarly an extra copy it gives more than 2500 it gives i think uh, somewhere around 5000 or something i'm not sure but yeah so the the thing why exp i mean is this number which you see here the power the amount of exp required to make a car to the next level Well, I have these. If you see, right, I have these extra copies of Naruka ke juice shoes. Now, if I click on Naruka ke, right, and if I show you, I already have this juice shoe maxed. Uh, just this one, right? And this is not a limit breakable juice shoe, so I really don't need extra copies of this. So now, what I will do is, I will just steal the EXP from this. Now, what I am talking about? Let me explain to you. Now, firstly, what I will do is, I will just go to evolve, and evolve all these because i want to synthesize them right now now let's say i select you have to go to the ninja shinobi ninja card and synthesize and let's say select narukage whichever you want to which shinobi you want to target now if i click on exp collection right you see there are a lot of jutsus coming here but some are logged some are not logged and even though these are not logged i am not able to click on them why because these are just level 1 i cannot steal exp from level 1 jutsu because they don't have any exp simple as that so now what i will do is i will click on this and i will synth these three cards right i synth them because they are not useful for me because they are just lying around now this is a level 6 card now if i click on exp collection again and So let me find it yeah this one right this is level 6 but it is locked so what i will do i will unlock it now it becomes usable right now i can click on it and i can steal the exp from this so i can steal as much as it gives me now it says you can collect about 8% of exp what does mean that let's say if i click on exp collection and if i go to this one again now this card currently has total exp of 13140 which is visible right here right now if i were to collect everything from this i can only get 8% of it 1051 which is the amount of exp i can collect so based on this number 8% i can only get this much percentage of exp from the total exp which is present inside this sixth level level 6 card i cannot get 100% dxp maybe in future they will have some kind of uh, mission or something which will allow you to get 100% dxp but as of now you cannot so what that what does this mean 
right so let's say uh if i were to let's go to a level 15 jutsu let's say for naru kage right uh 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 uh, uh where it is okay let's go to exp collection and let's say i unlock this right now it has 39400 total exp but i can only get oh i can only get 20 percent of it but of course for jutsu it's eight percent for ultimate it's 20 percent okay so that's not bad so i can get 20 percent exp of this and that comes out to be 7884 right now if i collect this exp then i can transfer it to some other card of narukage it's only narukage i cannot transfer the exp of narukage to any other naruto or any other shinobi right now let's not do this <laughs> let's steal the exp of this jutsu card now let's see i steal 1051 now when i steal the exp from this i will need some ryo so it takes about 1.3 million ryo and this card will become level one card now see similarly i will do this with these two cards as well because they are of no use to me right and I, I go to again exp collection and i look for that card where it is not this not this hey where it is oh here it is okay, okay i got it uh, this one right this is locked so I, uh, one thing to remember you cannot uh, steal exp if the card is locked so we have to unlock it then it will be usable now i steal the exp from this card again i can get 1051 because eight percent is the limit if i click on collect i collect the exp now i can transfer this exp to let's say i want to max out this ultimate so i have 2000 ultimate i can make it almost level two right uh let's try it on this naruto can i use it no because this is different Naruto. this is not the narukage's card so i can only transfer the exp to these cards right i cannot transfer the exp to any of the cards and i can only hold a certain amount of exp so for example in future you might get a new card of narukage which you don't have right so you can use the exp on that one currently i don't have to spend this exp on anyone because the, uh, my all the ultimates are max but if i wanted to i could do that i just have to go to let's say this or x ultimate and i can use my 2000 exp on this and it can go from level one to little bit more right so similarly can be done for all the other units that are available here right yeah uh let's see now we have Uta Kata here right now if you look at this card i have this one max and I have one extra copy, which is also maxed, right? So this one is maxed and this one is also maxed, but I don't really need two copies maxed because it's not even limit break card, right? So what I can do is, I can go to the synthesize option, click on Otakata, click on EXP collection, right? And I can choose the card to collect EXP from, uh, but this one is locked, so I have to unlock it first and click on it and steal the exp as much as i can from this card right i can get 1576 exp now one thing i want to test is what if i were to enhance this card if i enhance it will i get more exp i'm not sure let's try out right i just want to know so that i'm not wasting my chakra and stuff right so i enhance this card and let's see how much exp it can give us no it gives the same so yeah there is no point in enhancing the card first you just have to synthesize it and steal the exp right so i will just collect this exp and i will apply this on my x ultimate right just click on the x ultimate click on this click on yes and now your x ultimate level is almost level two <laughs> not completely because i still need more cards to 
steal the exp from but yeah you get the pitch right similarly you can do it for all the other units which are available with you right just make sure to uh, unlock the card first before stealing the exp and not steal exp from good level cards Ex steal from extra card if you want more cards there are a lot of summons which are for free just like this one which i'm gonna do very soon 2500 cards you can get lot of useful cards from here which you can then use to steal the exp right you can do this summon it also gives lot of crash cards but which can be used to steal the exp that's for example this one right you can synthesize these cards and uh, steal the exp from these cards Right, that's a good way to go. Now you cannot steal EXP from limit limit break card. So let's see. What about LB zero card? Can I steal from LB zero card? Yes. If your card is not limit break, you can steal it, steal the EXP from it. But if your card is limit break, then you can no longer steal the EXP from it. For example, this one is. LB0. So if I want, I can steal the limit break pro, uh, EXP from this card. But once it gets limit break, it will not be visible here. Right? So for example, uh, my Naru Kage and none of the limit break is visible here. I have two. Both of them are plus three. See, this one. This is Baron. Uh, this is also the new naruto tfs right these cards will not be visible when i click on exp collection because they are already limit break so that's one thing that you have to keep in mind also another thing that you might have seen in the notice is that a special thing is going on for hashirama right now i explained this one new exp collection and distribution features which i explained to you right now let's come on to this one so currently Hashirama is a roundup unit, right? The new roundup unit. So what Banda has done is if you were to use Hashirama's X ultimate equipped on the Hashirama, right? And if you play the roundup mission, then with every clear, you will get some EXP for that X ultimate, right? So what I, what I mean by that, let's say if you have level one X ultimate of Hashirama, this new Edo Hashirama, only Edo Hashirama, okay? If you have this ultimate of Edo Hashirama at level 1 and if you equip this card on Hashirama, this Hashirama and play the roundup mission, for every mission you play, the EXP for this you will collect, slowly slowly you will collect a lot of EXP, right? And then you can use that EXP to make that X ultimate level 10, 15, whatever, how much you play depending on that, right? So that's how EXP collection works. I hope this makes sense, right? And I would recommend you to try it out. Try on some shinobis which are lying around. You know, the, the copies, you have lots and lots of copies. Do check out your, uh, what you say, storage unit. You might have some cards here which are not useful anymore. Right? Like I have these are literally not useful at all because it's already limit breakable. So I can use the EXP from this card and put to use where uh, another Jiraiya's, this, what do you say, Warrior Jiraiya's x ultimate or ultimate or whatever i want to do right so yeah this is a good time and i think by this panda it wants to tell us that don't sell your unnecessary cards <laughs> keep it or synthesize them steal the exp and keep the exp with you for future i think that's what bandai wants us to do right now i have barren so many copies of this card this exp i can use for any of my cards right okay that's it for this video. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like this video. And if you have any questions around EXP collection, do let me know in the comments. I will try to answer them as much as I can. And yeah, that's pretty much it from my side. Until next time. Sayonara.